Welcome to the Hecker Family Homestead. It's April 10th. So the day after that snowy video. Uh, so 2022. We are taking the dog kennel. So originally we had purchased this 10 by 10 corral for the sheep and we had put a dog kennel in there so that when they had babies they'd have just another added layer of protection they really love the chicken director anyways uh this is a mess this is not the way i don't like it it's making a huge mess over here so i'm going to take the dog kennel move it up over there by the garden because what I found myself doing is shoveling out this used hay and putting it towards the garden and I am not about that life. You guys really love the chicken tractor. So chicken tractor has become their kind of defect scratching post. They are overjoyed. Okay, they need a scratching tree. Well, you guys have all these trees over here with which to scratch upon. Yeah, you're over here. Well, Hagar's just over here eating all that spilled chicken food. You can't eat that, Hagar. Hagar said, don't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me. Oh, look at that. More spilled chicken food. All right. That's kind of my thing I like to do here. So here's what we've done. We have moved the kennel. So the red pin is still there. The chicken tractor is still there. And I've moved the dog kennel up here to where the garden will be next to the greenhouse. We've staked the greenhouse into the ground, not before the tarp was ripped off. Any ideas on how to fix that? Anybody got anything? I really need some um, some advice because all the little ties are off and that's just there now. Um, so yeah, didn't even worry about finishing the felt down here. Um, just got this tied down. So this will be greenhouse. This portion here will be garden. What I'm doing with this 10 by 10 dog kennel is they start in a corner like there and stay a day or two there and I push it that way and they stay a day or two there and then they come up here. Now, is that all they get? No, no, I've got my fencing here and they've been going out and about. Now, what I've found really interesting is the before and after of the grass. So what we've got here is my neighbor's beautiful yard. Okay, now we'll look at mine. So green, green, green grass where they haven't been and then it turns to a lighter shade here where they have been. So all this light green is where they've been. Again, that's going to be garden. So just letting them turn it up for me and do their thing. Um, but green grass, I can tell where they haven't been yet. Light grass, they have been. It's very interesting. Um, I didn't notice this effect when they were down there. So I'm not sure what that's about. Different grass. Um, I'm not leaving them on it any longer. They are staying in a shorter fence up here. I've got them a little more um, closed into a smaller area throughout the day. So maybe that's why I didn't see any differences in the grass color there, because here they're really tromping on a small area all day, but I'm moving them every single day. Whereas down there, they were able to stay a day or two and then I'd move them again and again and again. So recap, the sheep are no longer down there. They're now up here. Pardon the uh, cardboard. I'm going to use that for plants later. That'll be a separate video and that nasty used hay. Same thing, that'll be a separate video as well. Oh, it's all blurry. I gotta clean my phone case. Anyways, this is Jim. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe.